Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom. One question we get a lot is how do I save a website so I can get back to it later? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create bookmarks so you can easily return to websites you use frequently. To get started, it's helpful to understand something about web browsers. The analogy I like to use is to a television. Basically, a television is a tool you use to see different television shows. And in the same way, a web browser is a tool you use to go to different websites. And just like there are different brands of television set, there are also different brands of web browser, like Chrome from Google, Edge from Microsoft, Firefox from Mozilla, and if you're on a Mac, you might be using Safari, or you might even still be using Internet Explorer. I hope not, though, because it's been retired for a long time. But whichever browser you choose to use, it can do all the basics. It's just that the controls are slightly different from one to another. So for this video, we're going to use Google Chrome. So let's get started by opening Google Chrome right here from the taskbar. Chrome in this case is the browser. Google is the website we're looking at in the browser. And up here at the top of the screen, we see the address of the website, www.google.com. Now, if they're websites we use frequently and we want to be able to return to them easily, the first step is to go to one of the websites we want to bookmark. Let's start with the New York Times. But before I create this bookmark, I need to have a place for the bookmarks to go. I have to make sure that the bookmarks bar is visible. To make sure it's visible, click the three dots on the upper right hand corner of your screen and then click on bookmarks and then click on show bookmarks bar. Now there's a white space below the address bar right here where bookmarks can go. If I go back to this menu, you can see that show bookmarks bar is checked. Yours may be on already, but this one wasn't, so now we've turned it on. Now to create the bookmark, you can just click bookmark this page in the same part of the menu. A little window pops up and it has the name and location for this bookmark on the bookmarks bar. When I click done, there we are. The New York Times now has a bookmark on the bookmarks bar. Let's try another one and this time we'll do it a faster way. Step one, navigate to the website you want. Let's try LA Times and this time instead of using the menus, Click on the lock symbol in the address bar and drag that right to the bookmarks bar. As you can see, it adds the bookmark immediately. Let's try it again. How about Gothamist this time? You'll notice that this particular website doesn't have the lock symbol. In the place of the lock symbol, it says not secure. That doesn't mean this is a dangerous website and it's safe to make a bookmark for it. Just drag that text wherever you want it to appear on the bookmarks bar. The vertical bar shows you where the bookmark will go, so I can actually put it in between the other two bookmarks if I want to. One more. Let's go to the Washington Post. This has a lock symbol, and once again, I can drag that right to the bookmarks bar. Now, it's starting to get pretty full, so it's useful to know that you can edit these. You can make the name in the bookmarks bar shorter. Just right-click on the name and go to Edit in this menu that appears. Now, change the name of the bookmark. Let's make it NY Times because that's more compact, but I'll know exactly what it is. And when I finish typing and I click Save, now you see that the name of the bookmark has changed. Let's do the same thing to Gothamist. Right-click on the bookmark itself and then click Edit. And we can change the name to something much shorter, like I don't need all this extra text. Just Gothamist is fine. And then click Save. Same thing with the Washington Post, right click, edit, let's make it WP, click save. Now I have much more space on my bookmarks bar. Also, if I decide that there is a bookmark I don't need anymore, on the right click menu is the option to delete. Okay, I'm gonna speed things up and show you what happens when you get too many bookmarks and the bookmarks bar gets full. I've thrown in a bunch of bookmarks here and when I get to the very last one, when I try to add the New Yorker, you'll see that there's no space for it, so it kind of falls off the end, and you'll see this little double carrot symbol at the end of the book's marks bar. If I click on that, there's the New Yorker. So that real estate is precious, and it's a good idea to keep your bookmark names short so they'll all fit. So let's recap what we've covered here. First of all, make sure your bookmarks bar is visible. In Chrome, click the three dots on the upper right-hand corner, then the bookmarks bar, and then show bookmarks bar, unless it's already checked, then it's already on. Then for each website you want to save, go to that website in the browser and drag the lock symbol from the address bar down to the bookmarks bar. 
If you don't see the lock symbol, then just drag the text that's in the same location. If you want to make changes to your bookmarks, right click on the bookmark and choose edit to give it a different name or delete to get rid of it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more helpful videos.